One day, Mia Va took me to eat sushi in a restaurant. During the dinner, the owner was telling us about one of his great ancestors that died with honor in a samurai battle hundreds of years ago. Later that night, I was dreaming about Japan when someone showed up. I need your help. Can you become lucid? Lucid? I am lucid. Uh-uh. This is a dream. You need to be aware of it now. This isn't a dream. This is real life. <sighs> Just do a reality check, please. Why? Oh. Uh, hold on. I am dreaming. I was going to call my heart to come with me, but he's not here because of you. So you are coming with me. Come on, we have someone to wake up. Intruders! It's me. Oh, is the witch? Is he an ally? Uh-huh. Tengu, that boy will fight. Give him a katana. What's going on? He's stuck in a battle against an imaginary creature for over 500 years. 500 years? And he still couldn't kill it? He can't kill it because the creature is a creation of his subconscious. Kinda like that demon you are the self told me you created. So how do we kill it? The creature is not the problem. It will disappear once people stop believing in it. Our job is to wake up the one who feeds it. Mmm. Sir? Speak quickly. Do you have a cat? No cat. The creature you're fighting is not real. Oh, Tengu is real. You saw it. It's just your thoughts giving it life. That's what Tengu wants you to believe. <coughs> He's here. Hey, hey, archers. Go. No. I woke up. During the day, I was thinking about the samurai and how easy it is to become a slave of our own imagination. Could I also one day become a slave of my own imaginary characters? Days later, I had another lucid dream and I was back to the same samurai camp. I have an idea. We can use our own imagination to change the creature. Maybe that way he can see it's not real and do a reality check. Okay. Oh, get ready, men and witches. Tengu may attack us any moment. Let's hide and wait for him to come. You miss my other self, don't you? Mm. I'm happy you're here with me. I think you can hear your emotions about me. You want to be with me like you were with the West. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cheating? Your other self is you, so I don't know. It was easier when you two were one. We were one? Yes. The druid that stole my heart. Huh? I remember the house we lived in. You had a nasty dog that you abandoned. He bit my hand when we first met, but you took me home and helped me to get better. Years later, you made me complete. That's when mother came to our lives. Mother? She and her guardians. They taught us how to make medicine with plants. We were happy together. We promised each other to never be apart. Then what happened? Tragedy happened. I don't like to remember that part. It was so traumatic that it split you and your other self. I was born far from you and spent the entire life waiting for you and you never came. Sorry. When I woke up, OS and I were desperate. We had to do something to leave the same romance that once made us complete. There was a database that kept human records. OS managed to get our records out in the form of a book, and I made a deal with the dragon just to get his feather. Then I gave it to OS for him to hide both the book and the feather deep inside your heart. For more than 14 years, the dragon couldn't find which village you were born in. I had faith that OS writing the book with the dragon's feather would be a spell powerful enough to make me find you. You did all that just to be with me? To be with my heart. Life without love, it's no life at all. Tengu! Tengu is here! What is this demon? Pikachu is on our side! Then give Pikachu a tanto! What are you doing? Focus, don't forget this is a dream! Hey! Yeah! Tell me how you're feeling. It's weird. What's happening to me? Tell me. I suddenly feel this uh, peace. It's so good. I, I don't want to fight anymore. Look inside you and tell me what you see. Uh, I'm not human, am I? I see light. I want to be with that light. I wish you peace and light. He should not be here with her. We have no power to break our bound. We'll see about that. Hey, I'm sorry for what happened at the school. I wish you peace and light. Ouch. 
I woke up and started to write my dream experience in my dream journal. But as I wrote the dialogues, I started to cry. And I don't know why I was crying. It's like my heart had its own brain. It took me weeks to have another lucid dream again. And when I had, the girl was already there. Your guardian doesn't want to talk to you anymore. No sh what happened that day? He convinced that samurai to stop fighting like 5 seconds. I bet he lost a lot of energy by doing that. Couldn't they just do that with everyone? Mm, I don't know. Humans need to help themselves or they will never learn. You let them live as a slave of their own demons? That sounds like a nightmare. Every experience that makes you stronger is a valid experience. They need to learn how to free themselves from their own illusions and fears. Then why did my guardian help that samurai then? That was an exceptional case. He was taking too long to wake up and we're moving his whole legion to a different planet. We had some urgency. What about the arches? Those I'll leave to you too. I wish you peace and good. Did you know him? He's my guardian. Let's go wake up the archers. Where's the samurai? He's gone. I need you guys. He's back. Tengu. He's not real. That's what Tengu wants you to believe. Archers. Ay -ay 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 <sighs> Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I'll talk about the day I was back to the space court. Can you guess who opened the case and why? So make sure you like and subscribe to not miss my stories. Thanks for being nice. Bye.